my acne has been getting so bad and it's like week after week it's getting worse um it looked a lot worse than this so as you can see i have breakouts and now i'm getting scarring because i've been breaking out so much and at me again i feel like i have an active spot on my chin and on my cheek and my skin is actually peeling as well and it's super annoying because <laughs> i just want my skin to get back to how it was <laughs> I drink a lot of water. I eat pretty clean for the most part. I don't eat much junk food. So the issue has to be my hormones. I have soap on my face. The soap that I told you guys about that I've been using, it works, but nothing is getting rid of the acne. It keeps coming back and back and back. So it's to the point like if I don't do something internally with my hormones, it's not going to stop. Or if I use a product, it it will, my face will look clear, but I'll get flare ups again. I just don't want to get as much flare ups as I do now. So I'm trying to figure this out. I ordered some stuff. I'm gonna try a completely different routine. I'll keep you guys updated. Reza in the building in today's video I'm going to talk to you guys about my acne this is going to be a skin update acne story act, just to let you guys know what has been going on with my skin because if you guys have watched my vlogs you guys saw that I was breaking out a lot you can still tell that I do have some dark marks on my skin and it isn't the best but it has improved a lot compared to what your girl was working with this all started last year fall before that your girl's skin was smooth spotless i had just gotten over another acne breakout all thanks to acne.org that cleared my skin up really good. I used their face wash, their benzenol peroxide treatment, and their um, moisturizer. That cleared my skin up in about eight years. So I was all happy. I was all dandy. I was, you know, that was the clear that my skin had been in a while. So I was so ecstatic, right? So tell me why I was getting breakouts in the same spot over and over again no matter what i did it was not stopping and then i started to get them on my chin so the same spots over and over and i got them around my lip area then i started to get them along here here and then i started to get them on my forehead the forehead was the last place that i was getting my acne so i was confused before you guys feel like you can recommend me something that I have not tried. I tried the raw African black soap, which burnt my skin. Which hazel that a lot of people rave about that dried my skin out. Spin brush that it irritated my skin. It actually made my acne worse. 
Then you can go on into the natural remedies like aloe vera, turmeric mask, bentonite clays, you name it. I've tried everything, honey. I always wash my hands with antibacterial soap. I don't play that at all. And I don't like people touching my face. I don't even touch my face. I wash my face at least three times a day. That's because I have to wash my face before and after the gym. I learned my lesson with that. And I change my pillowcases quite often throughout the week. So girl, what's the problem, right? So I had to really sit down and analyze what was going on so i realized every time my period came the week before that i would have a whole ton of breakouts on my face during my period i would get some more breakouts and after my period i would get even more the acne was is because i still get them it can get very painful and Oof. I researched what was going on with my skin and what's not. So I didn't know it had such a thing as hormonal acne. And basically that's what's going on with my skin. And some of you even commented and mentioned something about my estrogen levels. Seeing that I work out a lot and that can be what's affecting my acne as well. And I looked into all of that. Thank you guys who mentioned it. And I can go on and on about what's been going on with me on more of a hormonal level. So even before my period, um, acne isn't one of the only things that, only symptoms that I get. I get quite moody. I get crying spells. Like... <laughs> this shit crazy i can feel these things happening to me and i cannot stop them i cannot control it so back to the acne and the things that i have been experiencing well the increase of so i've noticed an increased in sebum production and i already had oily skin but i noticed an increase like i would be sprouting oils I also noticed that my pores were getting clogged so fast that may have a lot to do with the environment that I live in it's very dusty I thought that the water that I was washing my face with was an issue as well until I substituted that water with bottled water purified water and I was still breaking out so the water wasn't the issue you guys see that you can be doing everything right and still get acne listen I've been to the dermatologist at least two times in my lifetime I've had about four major breakouts I'm on my fourth one right now every time I visited the dermatologist they prescribed the same things that helped so I know what these things are and I know exactly what they're gonna tell me to use I'm not about to pay a hundred dollars plus to see a dermatologist for them to tell me what products to use that I know that they're going to tell me unless it gets to the point where I have to use Accutane I don't know if you guys have heard about that one but that has seemed to work miracles in people's lives in the acne.org system we were using benzenol peroxide so that stopped working for me and I know salicylic well you know what I'm talking about I know that wasn't gonna work for me either so those were cancelled I heard about different and the fact that it was so easily accessible I was like yes so I tried that for a while that made my skin purge a lot and it helped with the texture of my skin so I was really loving it but I felt like it wasn't giving me the results that I wanted as fast as I wanted it it wasn't what I was used to because I did try retin-a in the past so I've tried from the lowest strength to the highest strength of retin-a and retin-a cleared my skin but the only thing with retin-a you have to be prescribed have to boo boo we have the internet but I did get the retin-a I got one I also got clindamycin both of which I used in the past this is what my skin 
is looking like so far and I know since I've used the uh, retin-a I am getting purging so purging is basically where you have all the clogged pores under your skin come to surface because they have to come out <laughs> So it's gonna look like I'm um, breaking out even more but the differing helped a lot with the pollen so I did get a lot of that gunk in my skin out from the different and the retin-a is going to do the same but the ret to me the retin-a works at a faster rate and the retin-a is stronger to where it gets much more deeper into your skin so this is what my face is looking like I'm um, all up in your faces <laughs> so it's not perfect I still have a long way to go but the texture I'm not breaking out as much because I used to have like 10 different breakouts on my face at the same time how all the dark spots you're seeing right now I had acne in that area and I had a lot on this side of my face this was kind of a skin update to let you guys know what has been going on and why I have been breaking out because a lot of people give unsolicited opinions and advice about people who have acne when you don't really know what's going on with that person's skin or their lifestyle so I wanted to make this video to let you guys know like yo I've tried almost everything and I still break out so can we stop making people feel bad that experience acne because if you don't get acne you won't understand what it feels like for people who go through it it's annoying when you have acne because every time you talk to someone you can feel them counting the bumps on your face and for those of you who do have acne you are still beautiful the amount of acne on your face does not determine how beautiful you are and please do not let it affect your confidence to the point where you feel like you don't want to go anywhere you don't want to communicate or talk to anyone life happens and you go through certain things that you have to go through no matter what so don't let that keep you down or stop you from excelling and being the person that you are meant to be